Number four, that was latest five, and, and, and although she doesn't have it, she doesn't have anything on the, excuse me, on the spiritual side, the wind bending side, she had less drive until the end of the first book when there was a need for it. So that's one of the things I'm going to comment on for the, uh, excuse me, the time differences of the uh, learning. Okay. I'll pass. You and back. long time after there was an avatar besides uh, like besides Aang, so after him, uh, she had like big shoes to fill. Obviously everybody else did as well, but since it was advertised because like it's more, more technology has come from that, so there's like uh, media and stuff, she has a lot of attention from that. She has, she's got to fill those shoes. Okay, that's a good point. Uh, there's one over here. No? Uh, you in the back and then you in the front, okay? And then we'll move to a different discussion topic. Yeah. I think it's you, person that looks like Misty. Um, I've noticed that one or uh, one big difference is Aang listened to the spirit and Korra did, or she did like try to. True. Not really. No, well, not really, because I think at the end, I think Aang kind of shuts himself off. Didn't he? Just for uh, Roku, as far yeah, as yeah, from Roku. as we know. Just for Roku. Apparently, the other avatars still have their connection, and even Roku has his connection. It's just Aang actively chose not to listen and literally block off like a cell phone. Roku. Yeah. yeah. Which, and for Korra's sense, it kind of messed her up a bit because she didn't have the uh, training and stuff. And also, if you noticed in the first Avatar, uh, Avatar series, Roku actually helped Aang, where Aang didn't really step in to help. Until the until, end of book one. Until when she, he was starting to try to let her know that about um, Tarlock and well, everything. There's and a reason that. Well, yeah. Um, you and the friend, you had a question? Um, no, I mean, just, I just noticed that a really big difference between them is that Aang just grew up as a normal kid while Korra grew up knowing she was going to be the Avatar and that really didn't influence her way. But that's actually wrong. Course, they, they both knew they were going to be Avatar. Aang was told at a very young age, I think six when or seven. Twelve. Well, no, when he turned twelve. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't watched the whole series since last year, you'll have to forgive me. But, in the end, he was told, and that's the biggest reason, he, as soon as he was told, he ran away. They made the poor actively knew she was the avatar, because like, I'm a waterbender, the self pole? Yes. And I, at the age of three or four, basically, I'm the smallest person here, and I know three out of four master, I have no three out of four bending techniques. Um, do you have questions? Or uh, so just comment on that, I was just wondering, um, uh, before A, there was, uh, uh, there was like, um, for all the other avatars, didn't they say that they had to be like 13 or something before they actually 16. 16. 16. 16. 16. Yeah. yeah, 16 before they actually do. It's not like, um, I know they go at a young age. Do you think that they, um, they made Korra know earlier because of the success of it? Um, they're all there to do. Okay, um, for everyone who's um, coming in, try and, there are seats available. Can somebody put up their hand if there's a seat beside them that is empty so that these people can find a seat and they don't have to stand. Okay, you guys see all the hands? Find a seat. There's a lot in the front. <laughs> Just so that we don't have everyone standing. Um, and I believe you had a comment. You with the pink dress. Um, yeah, back to that whole <laughs> Bending mastery thing. And there's something that really bothered me about them. And like they made the comments about earth bending being the hardest for Aang. Although during the actual series of Avatar, he had really didn't express anywhere near as much difficulty doing earth bending as he did fire bending. And that really bothered me because I didn't really actually see the difficulties. I guess how it would work theoretically, how it should be the hardest for him, but it didn't look like that at all. Um, I think full metal you had a... No, no. no. <laughs> um, I think a big difference was that Aang was raised in the uh, in an air tribe, which they were more connected to the spirits, so it was easier for him to connect, and Korra wasn't really connected in any way. Okay. Um, uh, you in the black outfit. I, I just want to make uh, a comment about uh, Aang finding more difficult with fire versus earth or the other way around. Yeah. I think earth was difficult for him because it was up with his element. He was actually very good with fire at first, uh, but then at first he was violent with it and it was more mental block. It wasn't that he was not good at it, he just didn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you with the black and red sleeve, yeah. Yeah, just on that topic, like with the difference between fire and earth bending, uh, like I got a hard time with earth bending because it was something 
hard and physical that he's not used to. Because like air is free flowing, or water free flows, earth is in your face. He had a hard time learning that. Whereas as the other guy mentioned, fire was easier for him. At first he was just scared of it because he burnt people with it. Like, he burnt guitars, so he was freaked out he never wanted to do it again. But it was actually really easy for him to learn how to do it because it, just like air bending, it's all in the breath. So he was really easy at it. So it allowed him to roar like a tiger that little far easier. Right. Okay, um, we're going to switch topics now. Um, Richard has a topic, I guess. And hello, everyone. Um, um, I was at an like electric horror panel last year among you guys, and, 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 and um, everyone remembered when book, book One Air started and, and wondered how Mon was able to sever a person's bending. I thought, it couldn't be energy bending, because there was no glow, and I doubt spirits or the lion turtle would have actually taught him it. And I thought, he said he had a plan to, and to end all bending. I thought he meant and, and that he had a way to transfer his, his power across the globe instantly. I didn't know he was going to do one person at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, I never expected blood bending. Did any of you? Oh. Uh, hey, Amon, you want to get in on this? Dude, I can pull the blood out of your body. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, explain yourself, please. Okay, um, I feel like because Cora can do the avatar scene now, there's probably going to be... 